Hey guys, welcome to Free Talk. I'm here with Yumi. Hello everybody. And we have some beers here. Can you explain to me how to describe the beer? Yes. So first, let's talk about the beers we have, mm. okay? This one here is a stout. Asahi. Asahi. Ho Garden. Yeah, Ho Garden. Dog Fish Head IPA. And this is the uh, Beluga White. Okay. White. Oh my god, we have two Belgian style white beers. This is a white beer. This is also a white beer. I thought this was a wheat beer. The first word we're going to teach you is, is it a full body beer or a light body beer? Mm. Okay, so the body is how thick the beer is. Let's go ahead and start. Let's get two beers here. Um, this one, this stout, is going to be a really full body beer. It's very thick. It's more like milk. Mm -hmm. This Asahi beer, it's going to be more like water, and it's a light body beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the words we use to describe the body is full bodied, medium bodied, light bodied beer. Okay. Right? You open up. Okay. Asahi. Ho Golden. Ho Garden. Ho Garden. IPA Last one Let's begin Okay mm -hmm. So let's try this This stout beer Is actually Not a really really full bodied stout Let me try it first Wow Okay Really sweet. Try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a really sweet taste. Yeah. And um, it tastes like they cooked the uh, grains. They cooked the wheat or the oats or the barley, the things they used to make the beer. It tastes like they cooked it a long time. Mm. We call that a roast flavor, okay. a roasted flavor. Roasted okay. flavor. Yeah, it's very roasted or roasty or toasty. Only these dark beers really have this really roasted flavor. Most of the time other beers, maybe they do, but it's less common to, to have like a, a white beer or something with a really toasty mm -hmm. flavor, right? And what would you say, is this a medium or a, it's not a light bodied. It's medium, I think, for, medium -bodied. for a stout. Hmm. Which one do you want to try next? Next, I think uh, the Asahi. So this is definitely going to be a dry beer. I can feel my hair have a lot like uh, bubbles. Yeah, you know, this beer is crisp, but it's not really, really crisp. Mm. Um, actually, it's a dry beer, but I don't, I don't really find this really crisp like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you ever drink a Mexican beer, Yumi? So like if you ever drink a Corona, uh, when you drink a Corona, it's just like ah, this really, really crispy feeling and you can feel it in your in your neck like like Coke. Yeah, like a Coke. So Yumi, which next? Um, this one? Whole Garden. Whole oh, Garden. Garden. It's Whole a Garden. Whole Garden. This one is from Belgium. Mm. Let's go ahead and get this glass. Hmm. It's like some flower something. Yeah, it's flower. It's got this flower taste. So let me try it. I can at least taste probably two to three different flavors. You tell me what you taste and I'll tell you what I taste. I only can taste like flower. You only taste flower? Yeah. Do you know what coriander is? It's this little seed. So for me, Ho Garden has a really strong coriander flavor, and it's also got like a sweet, like a... Like wheat. Yeah, okay. But I also taste like this fruit, this kind of a fruit flavor. You taste a fruit flavor? Yeah, a little bit. Like pear? You taste a pear? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. But uh, I don't, again, I'm not the best beer taster in the whole world. Okay. Right? So well, pear is good enough for me. Do you want to drink this glass? Yeah. Cheers. Uh, now all three glasses are dirty. Let's wash the glasses and we'll come back. Okay. 
Bingo. Okay, we're back. We've got nice clean glasses. I like this glass. I like that glass too. Now we have our last beer. Uh, not our last beer. Our <laughs> second to last beer. This is the... IPA. Yeah, IPA. Okay. And by the way, Yumi, do you know how to describe an IPA? How does an IPA taste? Smell like very bitter. It smells bitter? Yeah, it smells bitter. And when we want to talk about how bitter the IPA is, we use something called IBUs. Mm. So if we look at this bottle here, we can find the IBUs. There's no IBU on it. They don't tell you. Wow, I'm, I'm totally surprised. Usually on the bottle, they have something that says IBU. And that tells you how bitter it is. So like a 30 IBUs mm. is not bitter at all. It's really, anybody can drink it. 70, it starts getting, bit, you know, a little bit bitter. 100, it's really bitter. Anything over 100 is a really, really bitter IPA. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I remembered last time we went in the tacos restaurant, they uh -huh. have a double IPA. Nice. Medium bodied mm -hmm. for an IPA. Mm -hmm. Medium, almost heavy bodied for an IPA. Um, still crisp, a little dry. It's not a really sweet beer, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's not, not a sweet. sweet. Beer. Yeah, it's dry. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not really roasty or anything, but do you think it's a complex? Can you taste any of the complexities in it? Yeah. I think IPA is, they, they got some complex flavor, I think. Yeah, I can taste like an orange flavor. I can taste some like old orange taste. You can taste like an, it tastes like an <laughs> old orange? Yeah. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, I get a little bit like uh, orange skin. Oh, you, you get know? like an orange skin taste. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can, I agree. It's time for us to try our last Belgian style wheat beer and we can compare the uh, Hogarten and check the differences. Also flower. Also flowery? Yeah, it's uh, um, almost the same. Almost the same? Wow, I think they're different. I think we need to try them side by side so you can see the difference. Okay. Okay. So we're putting a little in here. Okay. Look the color first. So. Yeah. Um, one thing I noticed is this beer, they're both very yellow. Mm -hmm. um, this one is not clear. Yeah. It's got a really like uh, cloudy color to it, right? Mm. This one, um, much more crisp. This one, um, a little bit smooth. I think it's more dry. Maybe this one is more crisp and less sweet. Okay, which one did you like the most? It's so hard to, to choose that. Uh, I like uh, all, all, of, all of them. Oh, really? And, um, uh, IPA, I think. I think the, for me, the IPA and this peanut butter chocolate milk stout. It sounds so bad, but it's actually pretty good. I like this. Uh, this Beluga White and actually this Hogarden, uh, they're just okay yeah. for me. They're not, they're not my favorite beers. They're, they're not really crisp enough for mm. me. I like a really crispy beer. And this Asahi, I think maybe this Asahi is old because it's, uh, it's not really giving me the boom, just real big, uh, crispy, super dry taste I expected. So for me and for you, it looks like this IPA is the winner. Yeah. Bye guys, I hope you learned a lot about how to talk about your beers. And um, in the future, like this video, like all my videos, subscribe. Love you guys, goodbye. Bye bye.